what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna test out a really special and interesting little machine it's the italia dragster 200 this wacky weirdo scooter from italia basically i think a subsidiary of uh, ducati weird little machine just a second pull the specs out on it so it came out in 2020 we're rocking a 200 cc liquid cooled single cylinder engine with a cvt transmission around about 20 horsepower and 17 newton meters of torque the wheel sizes i think we have let me check we have a 13 inch wheel on the front and the 12 inch wheel on the back the interesting part about it is this open skeletal frame i mean this thing has nothing in terms of practicality as a scooter if we look uh, i think this is the under seat storage yeah this is basically nothing <laughs> that's your under seat storage basically the size of a hand but also this seat is interesting it does have uh, foot pegs for the passenger but uh, i don't know who would want to sit back here yeah but the real interesting part about this little machine is uh, the front this weirdo suspension where this is the steering arm this is the suspension arm the brake disc is up inside we got full brembo brakes on it and the shock absorber for the front is here between your legs and also the rear suspension we are rocking on a Kropovich exhaust, but the rear suspension is also on a swing arm. It's an interesting machine and we'll talk about it. This is a hole right here. We'll talk about it as we ride, but I'm really curious to see. In terms of lighting, we have full LED lighting indicators, um, back end lights, front lights are here, full LEDs, and the turn signal indicators are up here. Weird. But let's take a look at the dash, put the ignition on. We have a very minimalistic dash. We have our speed, we have our fuel gauge, we have our clock, our total odometer, but we can also change our functioning hours. So yeah, we can see how long the scooter has been run in terms of time. But let's give it a, a startup. The Akrapovich exhaust. It does have a real nice sound to it let me close this so we can get decent audio and let's take this thing out for a ride oh I want to look at the weight this should be a really light scooter let me see wait 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 where is it 112 kilograms 20 horsepower 112 kilograms really interested to see how fast this thing is I have warmed up the engine beforehand, so uh, let's launch it. Bit sluggish. 50, 60, 70. Hmm. You know what? I was expecting a little bit more from 20 horsepower. And brakes. Oh. Yeah, brakes, 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 brakes it has. Acceleration, I don't know, it's a little bit sluggish. I need, I think it needs to be worked up a little bit in terms of the variator. Maybe change the variator weight or something or the belt. This only has about 650 kilometers on it, but honestly, I'm not feeling it faster than my ST. I think it's because the variator, it's, I was expecting a little bit better acceleration. But it doesn't feel like neck breakingly fast and 112 horsepower with 112 kilograms with 20 horsepower should feel fast. I mean the cruise in my road here on is 26 horsepower with 200 kilograms and it feels a lot faster than this thing does. We are holding 90 kilometers. I, I have no idea of the rev counter, of the revs that we're turning because it doesn't have a rev counter. Uh, in terms of riding position, 
my feet are right uh, below me we have nothing to put our feet up it is very light and chalkable and the front end doesn't feel weird and the thing is with this weirdo frame although it might be a weirdo frame uh, the fact of the matter is you can take your hands off the handlebars and you don't have that uh, weirdo wheel wobble that scooters have so you can definitely feel the frame doing its job but that's what you get when you only think about uh, suspension you only think about handling you only think about stuff like that but I am a little bit disappointed about the speed I have to I have to mention that I think it should have had a bigger variator it feels like a 125 and it shouldn't with 20 horsepower it shouldn't feel like a 125 and I'm not I'm not trying to undermine it but let's look here we're 30 km 20 kilometers an hour full throttle 50 60 70 80 yeah it goes it sure goes but somehow I was expecting a little bit more in terms of comfort oh it's a small little thing <laughs> what comfort I have this backrest that's like a panigale oh boy this is weird but that exhaust <laughs> you know it's an event this thing this is this is not your regular scooter that you commute to work on or stuff like that okay you could commute to work on it <coughs> but this is not made for commuting okay this is made for having fun with it we can blast around the city and for that I think it should have had a little bit more get up and go I mean with 20 horsepower it should have had a little bit more get up and go let's see here up the hill we have two lanes let's see if you can pass cars oh come on nope 90 okay give ourselves some room and full throttle 86 87 90 90 keeping 90 uh, 88 we're losing speed okay I came up the hill on the cruise sim I came up this hill on the cruise sim and I was holding 120 kilometers an hour 89 yeah we're basically the hill is holding us at a constant speed now this is set up like a 125 scooter so about 100 110 kilometers an hour is top speed now we're doing 100 105 106 and on the brakes the brakes are okay if the power is not that impressive the brakes are definitely impressive at lower speeds like sub 80 kilometers an hour yes it does pull don't pull out in front of me but above 80 it feels just like my st200 maybe just a little bit more powerful but considering my st has 12 horsepower and this has 20 I have no idea if we have ride modes I don't see anything indicated on ride modes uh, in terms of controls we have our kill switch here our start button here uh, high and low beams uh, flashers passing light hazards horn <laughs> little horn and uh, indicators so we don't have any ride modes it does have the Akrapovich exhaust I'm wondering if the engine has been retuned for this Akrapovich exhaust that might be a thing although this is a dealer installed options the Akrapovich exhaust but yeah it's it's very impressive in terms of handling okay in terms of handling it feels super light that front end suspension makes the front end feel planted and sure the rear end also with the weirdo suspension with the, with the swing arm and the mono shock 
also feels very good on the bumps and on the bends and on everything. It's lacking power. It's lacking the get up and go. It has brakes for days, it has suspension for days, it has handling for days. Power is not in line with everything else. I mean here I can take the pen one handed and pull on the gas and I it doesn't it doesn't throw me out of the corner like it should. Like considering the way it brakes, the way it handles, like the front brake feels absolutely beautiful. I mean quick two fingers, quick tug instantly. You can shave off speed extremely quickly and uh, then you're left waiting to put speed back on. That's the interestingly disappointing part. I mean, in terms like corners, a bit of gravel here, chuck it in and power out. And yeah, it pulls, but the it should be quicker but now on some twisties let's test it on some twisties like i've said suspension not a problem suspension is absolutely gorgeous absolutely awesome brakes like down here going down into a corner dab of brake chuck it in more brake hard braking downhill Chuck it in, and again nothing, hard on the brakes, chuck it in. Going downhill, it does have a bit of pickup, but that's about it. Hard on the brakes, chuck it into the corner. Yep, this is a city Panigale, but the power is not there. Chuck it in. Yep, you can definitely, it's lacking, it has brakes, it has suspension, it doesn't have the power it should have, even for the city, they should have a lot more power, or at least power it has, the transmission should be more responsive, hard on the brakes, into the corner, woohoo, and then you're left stranded at 60 kilometers an hour waiting for the damn thing to pick up speed again yeah i'm a little bit disappointed but i'm only disappointed about the power and considering this thing costs six thousand euros yeah i know you can do stuff to the engine i know there's a there's an aftermarket for this thing to get a lot more punch out of it but at six thousand euros this is a 200cc scooter at 6,000 euros. You can almost get the maximum 400 for that money. And the maximum 400 <coughs> would leave this thing in its dust. No question about it. The maximum 400 would leave this thing in its dust. I mean, riding it here, this is where it's comfortable. 80, 90 kilometers an hour, that's it. I'm mean, for a 20 horsepower engine, I was expecting just a little bit more. A hundred, and now it's struggling to pick up speed. 105, 105, 106, 107, 106, 105, yeah. Uh, 105, 110, that's its top speed. But handling, this is where the thing shines. I mean, you can just... Chuck it into corners, move your body weight on the seat. That's the disappointing part. It has handling, it has brakes, it has the looks, it has everything. It's like, it also has the power. 20 horsepower is enough power. The transmission, definitely you need to, if you buy one of these, you need to sort out the variator and the belt because this transmission doesn't do this thing justice. If it really has 20 horsepower, it feels like 14 horsepower, honestly, 14, 15 horsepower. And considering the thing weighs 112 kilograms, it shouldn't. Yeah, a bit disappointed, a bit disappointed, not gonna lie.
I wanted to like this thing. I really wanted to like this thing. Oh. Let's see if we can find somewhere that's a little bit more open and really try to pull a 100. Okay, we'll start from here. So, and a one, two, three. And go! 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Come on, little jet! A hundred! A hundred and two! Yeah, I don't know how long that took, but it felt, I don't know, like 15, 16 seconds. I'll try to time it, but... Yeah, it's an interesting little machine. It's a fun little toy. It turns heads wherever you go. But in terms of power, it's really not that uh, impressive. Let's... I want to pull it in here. Let's... The best part about it... Let's see. Side stand? Where is it? There it is. This thing is a beautiful work of art in terms of design. I mean, if you look at it, it has the Panigale front with the lights over there. Even the side stand, look how beautiful it is made. Plus this suspension arm right here, it's absolutely gorgeous. But otherwise, it has everything, it does not have the speed. It really does have everything, it has brakes, it has suspension, but it's lacking the power. You know, it's like one of those foods that's really great to taste, but it's missing a bit of salt. This is what it's missing, a bit of salt and pepper. It handles, it, handles, it stops, it looks gorgeous, but it's lacking, it's lacking the power. But anyway, peeps, this has been it for the Italjet Dragster. Thank you for liking the videos, for subscribing, for sharing the videos with your friends. And if you want to support this channel even further, you can be, consider becoming a member. And until next time, guys, take care out there and ride safe. Goodbye.